Okay, Uranium Friends, we're looking at UUU right now. Here is the monthly chart. Now, we are in a monthly downtrend. Uh, you're going to see on the weekly that this trend line is actually pretty clean. Uh, but for now, it looks a little messy on the monthly. But we are in a monthly downtrend. It's kind of in a, a bit of an equilibrium here. But right now, the most important spot is 602. Kind of makes a little bit of sense there. But really, the make or break level for us is going to be this low at 472. Uh, 469, 469. Okay, let's move on to the weekly. Just a real quick look here. And we have, look at this clean trend line all the way through. We got a bunch of touches here and then a lot of rejections here, a bunch of rejections here. We do have this accumulating uh, accumulation cylinder, they call it. It's a broadening rising formation. Uh, it's outside of it. It's getting a little bit, uh, it just keeps rejecting here. So that's a little bit of an issue, but for now, uh, we broke weekly support yesterday, which is not good. And that was the 50% retracement of this Fibonacci re, uh, move here. So this last run up from 469 to 824, uh, we take the measured move there and we are down breaking weekly support. We're down below all the stacked EMAs. Let me zoom in closer for you. We are down below these, this whole EMA stack here, and we are also below the 200-day. So it got above the 200-day, uh, but there was no follow-through. So that's a little bit of a red flag for us at the moment on this particular move. So as we can see, uh, we are now testing what is called the golden pocket, and that's about the 62% retracement normally. Uh, well, not normally, but oftentimes you'll see a bounce here. Uh, we don't know. If that's the case, again, I don't make predictions. I'm just telling you, we broke weekly support yesterday. We are now testing the golden pocket, which is a 62% retracement. Let's take a look at the daily. Okay, so here we are. We're inside of this pocket now. We're right on top of it. Technically a good place to bounce. Not going to say it's going to happen. Who knows? We did fill this gap yesterday. There was a gap here between 635 and 623. So that gap is filled. Good sign. Okay. So our biggest issue right now is do we hold this 556? Now, going back to the weekly real quick, uh, we are in a weekly uptrend here. Okay. So this is a nested time frame that is inside of a monthly downtrend, right? So monthly downtrend. We have our high, we have our low. We have our lower high and our lower low. So now we're looking to see if this double bottom monthly holds at four, uh, 469, really. It's, it's, it's a little bit off, but I call it a double bottom slope. But the weekly is still in an uptrend. So we lose that uptrend when 556, if 556 breaks down. Okay, so that's our key level right now, 556. And that's what we're going to be looking to see what happens. Of course, uh, CCJ is a factor. Uh, we like to see what it's doing right now. It's a little bit weak, but this is not, I mean, this is one move here. There is no pivots here on this last down thrust. So we're going to be looking for a pivot at some point. And the most likely scenario is that it doesn't get back up to 809 right away. So it might just do a little bit of a bounce up, a pull back to make a higher low change the daily trend and make the move up. Okay, so that's kind of what we're looking for. Don't know if we get it. Um, that's it for now, my friends.